Hey guys, this is another How to Hold Our Play This Game video. This one will be based around Project Reality. Alright, let's get started with the basics. So, squad. Um, so, this is your squad menu. Now, generally, I recommend you join a squad more than create one. Now, with PR, you always have to be in a squad. You'll get kicked from servers if you're not. You'll definitely get kicked if you don't use teamwork. So, I'm going to create a squad. And I am going to spawn. The moment I'll just spawn with a rifleman kit. Right now I'm playing on low because of lag. Okay, so um, usually I play on medium. This game has high graphic requirements. Um, anyway, BF2 I can play fine on all on high, AA4, 1920 by 1080, but this I don't know. Right, so. I'm going to show you how to build a fob and some other squad commands. Alright, let's hop in. Now, this is a logistics truck, it has two supply crates. We select it here. The CSB doesn't work on most maps at the moment, only our bass run. So, we're going to select the supply crate and we're going to drive out something. Now, it's a lot like BF2 with uh, terms of uh, squad commands, so. Right click. Now, you always stick with the squad. So let's just put out the squad. So let's move that. Now, the move mark instead of appearing here, appears down in the compass. You can just see that um, thing which looks like a chevron on the 255. So I'll adjust my Y arrow to be right on this chevron. And there we go. Um, while we're here, this is the map grid ref. Alright, so as you can see here, it explains it. So, in each one, it's pr pretty much this. So, 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So, uh, you have your A's and B's. So, let's say I wanted to move here. Advance to this position. And I was in a transport he helicopter. I typed to the pilot. C3. Keypad 5, for example. So that's C3. Um, keypad 5, so that's it. Advance to this position. But uh, anyway, this should be good to set up a fob. Uh, we've got both crates. To drop crates, um, you click that, then you right click two times. Alright, now, you have to be in a squad to get this. This is the, this is the T. Uh, in BF2, this was known as the squad options for the commander. Uh, squad leader, in this, you've got more options. So you've got rally points, which requires an officer kit. Now, unlike BF2, you can request kits by holding T and then clicking. Now, what we want to select is an officer kit. And then you press G to pick it up. Alright. Um, another thing is note the limited kits. This li lim limits the amount of kits you can have per squad. So each squad can have one medic and one AR, no more, no less. Uh, minimum requirements for a medic is two in a squad or three. Minimum requirements for AR in most kits is four. Minimum requirements for officer now, I believe, is one. So that's your officer kit. Uh, no, only the squad leader can pick it up. So, yep. Alright, so, to build a full forward base, which is like a forward spawn point, you have to find some flat land. Keep in mind you have to be near the crates, so we should do. Repairs needed at this position. Oh, no, no, no. Repairs needed at this position. Alright, there we go. Now, as you can see, now to build it, we have to have a shovel. So, officer kits don't have shovels, this is where squad members come in. Now you go up to it, and you hold down the left mouse button, and you just keep ho holding it down while you build. Now this has got to take a while. Alright, uh, should almost be built by now. Now note, um, the more people you have Build, building the fob at the one time, the quicker it will take. One person's gonna take a while. 
Now notice the radio there, if you stab that with a knife, it will destroy the fob. And then you just have to use thermites to destroy the rest of it, which I'll show you in a second once I finish building it. So you just keep holding down left mouse until it will stop you, like you'll know when. Alright. Should be any time now. Alright, so even when you're holding, it'll tell you that you can't build. Alright, so if you stab this, alright, actually no, before I do that, I'll show you something else. Alright, on the map, that's the fob, that triangle. Now, after two minutes or three minutes, it'll become a spawn point where soldiers could spawn. Only time you can't spawn if it's been destroyed or compromised. Compromise is when there's a lot of hostiles in the area, it disables you from spawning there. Okay, so let's destroy it. Now you want to be sneaky, let's say there's infantry that you don't want attention, you stab it once, and then bang. Then you'll grab a thermite, and you will right click. And this should do the rest of the job, pretty much. Alright, and there we go. Alright, next thing I'm going to show you is... Next thing I'm going to show you is being a pilot. So, um, to request a pilot kit, it's the same, hold T, you click that, and then you select pilot. Um, note, pilot and crewmen, you can select from the designated vehicles which require it. So I'm going to grab it here. Alright, so this is the pilot kit. Now, there's five main things to this. Uh, first is punching. Note that this is the only kit which has a parachute. Now punching, this is what you'll use if you want to get hostiles away from you. I actually recommend you don't engage hostiles at, at all if you go down. You just want to get out, out of there. This is just stuff for last resort, alright? Um, this doesn't do anything at the moment, but if the devs want, they'll work something out for it. Now you've got the pistol. Note that it only has um, two clips, so you don't want to use it that much. You just more want to use it to get hostiles away from you. Um, this is selecting unarmed, and, alright, so let's, I'll do that again. So I'll click unarmed, then I'll right click, my hands will go up. Now, there's no score thing for this at the moment, unlike insurgency, where if you kill a unarmed civilian on the insurgent side, you'll get ne negative points. That doesn't happen in this at the moment, but I'm sure the devs will maybe do that. Uh, he's the pilot's got his smoke if he needs evac, so he'll throw this, and then the chopper will see it and come land. Uh, you got first aid. Uh, all kits have this. This is a uh, uh, field dressing. Um, only restores 25% of your health, so um, you still need to seek medical attention. All right, we're about to roll into the base now. Alright, so in this game, helicopters are assets. You don't fly them, jump out and parachute, and then just leave the chopper. Once you become a pilot, you become a designated pilot. You never leave your bird. You stay in it until it crashes, and you'll have the option if you want to leave the squad or wait. Helicopters take a long time to respawn in a real match. 20 minutes, or sometimes to an hour. So if you crash it, you will be pissing a lot of people off if you don't know how to fly. Alright, um, so most squads require asset squads, so I'm going to do that. So I'll leave my squad. And then I'll, uh, so usually custom squads, and I'm going to call mine. Generally, you don't have to, but it's more professional if you call it after the actual name of the helicopter, because it stands out and most realism servers will respect you for it. You're at 60, so that's a Blackhawk. Alright. So, now, helicopter engines, they usually take from 30 seconds to a minute to warm up. So you just gotta wait. Uh, I'm not gonna fly around, because perhaps it's giving me shocking lag. Now, these have supply crates in them. This, you, if someone requests a supply crate, you fly to them, right click, drop the crate, the crate will drop. Now the crate just drops straight down, it's not like it's like goes everywhere, it just drops straight down to the ground. Alright. 
So, um, I'll show you squad movements at another vid. Thanks for watching.